So really, let me ask you something. Those people who are watching us right now, are we turning on certain genes in them and their brain cells right now? You know, thanks to something called neuroplasticity, where the brain is reshaping its neural networks all the time. And thanks to the fact that there's epigenetics, where gene activity is changing all the time in response to your life experiences, your perspective, your attitude. This gives you a level of flexibility over what your genome and your brain will be despite what you were born with. So in essence, we're changing neurochemistry, the shaping of the neural networks and gene activity all at once simply by having a discussion. And the takeaway is that you're not your brains, that you're not even your genes. You can influence the activity of your genes and your neural networks and create the brain and the genetic activity that you want to have a better experience of life. Including disease. For example, you may be born with certain genetic susceptibilities to Alzheimer's disease. But exercise, good sleep, social interaction, good diet, all these things can, in most cases, offset the genetic susceptibilities you have toward diseases that come with age, like Alzheimer's disease.